Let's take a close look at the new Plan B Mark II from Safety Solutions Academy. Now, these ideas of extended magazine sleeves, of course, have been around for a long time. Lots of companies have made guns that have magazines that fit flush, as well as magazines that fit either larger guns, or in the case of the M&P Shield, are specifically designed as extended magazines to increase the grip length and the overall capacity of the firearm. The problem with the extended magazine sleeves is they actually turn the magazine base into part of your grip. And what that means is that the magazines aren't going to drop free nearly as easily and sometimes hardly ever at all because they're impinging on the back of your grip hand. The other problem is that you could potentially pinch your hand up against the magwell between the sleeve and the magwell and the magazine won't get seated when you're doing your reloads. So the traditional extended magazine sleeves really cause a lot of problems and generally we just say take them off, throw them away. The problem is some guns, like the M&P Shield, can then become prone to failures and in fact damage and actually breaking the gun can happen and I've seen it happen on the range when people over insert the extended magazines and either bend or break the ejector. In other gun designs you could also have the magazine over insert and not break the gun but cause a malfunction and of course that's not something you want to happen in a life or death worst case scenario defensive gun use. So the plan B, Paul Carlson designed this to be a better extended magazine sleeve. As you can see it's got two pieces. This particular one does not add any capacity to the magazine. What it does is the same exact thing as the sleeve that comes with the gun, the plastic ones. What this one does is creates a good standoff between the actual base of the magazine and the base of the magazine well so that you won't get the damage to the gun or the malfunction that comes from over insertion. But what this also doesn't do is have quite as much substance to especially the back end of the magazine base pad so it's much less likely than the standard base plate to get impinged on your hand or to cause a problem when you're inserting the magazine into the gun. The other nice thing about it is because this is not polymer, this isn't a plastic piece, this adds a lot more weight and it actually increases the likelihood that the magazine is going to drop free, not decreases it. So take a good look at the Plan B Mark II. It's an improved extended magazine sleeve from Safety Solutions Academy.